Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, CJ3A restoration update. We're getting the rear of the body uh, completely spot welded today. You can see behind all the joints I've got the, um, the galvanized, uh, cold galvanized compound, the, uh, the zinc. And that's uh, behind every single joint. And that's what you want to do if you want your body to last. And um, there's that floor we reviewed from uh, Classic. It's in there. And we still got some work to do where the footman loops go and the rear seat. We got to put in the rear seat um, pockets and everything. But um, that's the rear of the body. Got the uh, tailgate surround in there today. Still got to do some um, grinding, and it's been so humid lately. You can see everything is just immediately flash rusting. But uh, we'll clean everything up before we do any kind of priming or anything. And um, to save time on this body, while I was working on the back and doing the chassis, um, you remember last time I said that um, I was going to have uh, my customer get some parts from. Uh, various places instead of me uh, taking the time to make them uh, we thought we'd speed the project along and um, we've got some uh, uh, let's see we've got some hat channel for under underside some front quarter panels and some floor pans and uh, I want to put, put everything on the bench here and uh, and show you what we got and um, tell you what I think of it uh, just in case you guys are thinking of purchasing any of that stuff, I want to show you what you're actually going to get and what you're going to have to do to make it fit. So uh, let me get set up on the bench and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, what you're looking at there is the, uh, that's the driver's side hat channel section uh, for the CJ3A. And um, I normally make all this stuff, but uh, again, we were trying to save time. So I thought there was a good reproduction out there. Uh, I was mistaken again. What I'm laying on there is a um, completed hat channel section. And um, I just want to say to everybody, I'm not trying to bash anybody. I'm not trying to bad mouth anybody making parts or anything. I just, uh, I'm trying to bring real, uh, real world comparisons you know to people but so they can make an educated decision before they buy something or or have somebody make something or you know um, again we're not trying to beat anybody up but um, <clears throat> this is from classic uh, if you're in the Jeep world you've heard of these guys and the first thing is when you get it let me try and show you over here they don't put this little flat piece on there that's on that you need to put your tow board on. Um, so you got to wind up cutting and spot welding that on. I think you can see this all right. Let me take the camera off here and try and bring you in there. The original hat channel. Well, let me focus that out for you. Oops. Okay, the original hat channel almost fits inside of what you get. Um, <clears throat> I think you can see the stuff you're going to get much larger than the original stuff. And this is where you get into trouble with that. Um, it's the driver's side again, so your, your clutch pedal is going to be in there. And you can see I have marked out how much I need to take off of here. And you're almost completely inside the, the cutout here. Um, so they're much larger. And um, that makes a serious problem when you go and you try and adapt the piece of hat channel you get to your original curved piece in your tunnel. Um, it basically, it's just a disaster right in that area. So there's going to have to be a lot of blending and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff done there to make it look right. Um, 
so like I say the the, the overall size uh, it, it screws everything up um, and they're just way too wide and in this section especially uh, it, it's just there's just no room in there for your you know for your clutch pedal so you got to take quite a bit out so let's just measure this one here yeah, I got about two and a half inches in width there we got about three and a quarter there so you know that 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 difference has to go somewhere so um, I'm gonna massage these in there and make everything work out but um, just want you to be aware when you get them uh, so you're not disappointed when you you know you spend your money on this stuff and you, you don't want to be disappointed but um, I would not use these again I would take the time to uh, to make them correctly and uh, like I say if we weren't trying to push this project real fast uh, I would have taken the time to make them right but um, you know we're trying to get it out the door here so uh, this is what we did and so far uh, it's been kind of disappointing and a, and a little bit of a mistake so we're going to go look at the uh, the passenger side next okay what you're looking at here is the passenger side And um, this stuff you see in here, that's the, um, that's the cold galvanize again. Uh, I've got everything coated. And I'll, I'll put a few coats on, on what's going on the inside. And uh, I'll keep it from rusting out like this. You see the original hat channel just all perforated right there. So uh, we're going to give it a fighting chance. And like I say, I put the, uh, I put the primer, the, the cold galvanized primer behind everything. And uh, it works out real nice. Okay. So, again, your tow board, you can see the outline of it here, sits on that. Um, so I cut out a piece, coated it, spot welded it, and then realized the body won't fit up against the frame. You know that little bracket on your tow board there? I'll, I'll take you over and show it to you. It's hitting this so bad, uh, it won't go up against the frame. And uh, I'm going to have to shim it out a little bit. I'm taking quite a bit of this out. You know, in theory, I could take the whole thing out, um, but that'll just leave a wide open space there. So I'm only taking a little bit out, and we'll shim that little bracket out. So, so far we've got a lot of extra work to do on this hat channel, and um, you know, I don't. Uh, again, I just want you guys to be aware of what you're going to get. Uh, it's not going to be the type of stuff you just put in there and put in your Jeep and weld it in. There are modifications that are going to have to be made. Okay, what you're looking at here is our front floor, driver's side. You can see your uh, clutch and brake pedal, your steering tube, your master cylinder hole right there. And I cut it out carefully with the plasma cutter. And um, we'll weld that. We'll get everything welded into the, the tunnel. And we went all the way up to the firewall. I like to take them off of the firewall because then you spot weld it back in there and you don't have a weld joint say if you cut it right there um, it's a little extra work but it makes for a nicer installation right there you can see that's where your cowl support goes that's what happens if you don't have any primer underneath it so um, again in an effort to save time uh, I had my customer buy a panel and I really thought it was going to come in a little bit nicer. Uh, it looks nice but uh, let me show you what's wrong with it. Okay so here's a new floor and I've got it laying on top of the old floor and I went to put everything together and there's your brake hole. Lines up very nice. Steering hole is a disaster. And there's your clutch that lines up real nice and your dimmer switch and the master cylinder is not too terrible I can work with that but this is the problem right here the steering column hole is is completely off and the floor won't go into the right place and the rest of the body won't come together correctly so I didn't realize it was going to be like this so this is going to have to be a little bit of an adjustment this particular steering hole you know if you look at your Jeep it's um, it's flanged inside there 
so it's not a question of just filling the hole in and moving it a little bit we need to do uh, quite a bit of work there I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'm gonna cut it along this seam and put the original back in I hate to do that and then you have to always dress that weld real nice uh, I'd like to put this in but I'm gonna have to flatten this flange out I have to fill that back in um, re center the hole where it needs to be repunch it and then we'll have to flange that and uh, I'll show you how I do that um, but again you know it's it's kind of disappointing you pay good money for these parts and um, this is from another uh, uh, Jeep company there well-known guy uh, Carl in Pennsylvania and um, it, it's just uh, it's disappointing to get stuff like this you know it's uh, like I say we're not trying to beat anybody up but um, it would have been a whole lot nicer had they not put any holes in there and I could have put my own in there but um, you know, a lot of guys out there just making parts and they don't actually do the installs and they don't realize how bad things are. But um, this is a this is just a real disaster here. I mean, it's, it's it doesn't look like much, but it, it screws up the whole panel. And it takes, you know, three times as long to, to fix some stuff that's almost right than it does to make it from scratch. So, uh, quite disappointing on these parts I've been getting in. And... Um, like I say, it's just uh, a lot of guys making parts out there, and everybody's you know tooting their own horns, saying, "Oh my God, I got the best parts," and then uh, you go to put them in, and you're doing a high quality restoration, and it just they they're just junk. So um, we won't go down this road again. Um, as usual, we'll have to fabricate everything in house to uh, to make it right. But um, got I got a couple more parts to show you, and like I say, we're just doing real world comparisons here again as I said a hundred times we're not trying to, to bash anybody we're just saying uh, it's a real comparison to an original part um, you know I've been through this a whole lot with the Filipino bodybuilders you know they want parts and they want to uh, see how things are going and, and can, can you give me an original part and you give them an original part and they miss real bad when they make their dies and it's just you go back and forth and back and forth and um, there's a difference between uh, you know a shop like me where I'm actually doing the work and guys that are just making the parts and uh, I'll show you that in the next parts as well so just keep this in mind when you're buying parts you know not everything's just gonna fall in like uh, like like you think it might okay guys here's the front quarter uh, I believe this is from classic again and um, it's not a bad part it looks right um, obviously they're setting up some kind of uh, stamp for it I'm hoping I can get you in here and clear this up you can see there's a lot of drag from the uh, from the process and the light is funny but it's it's all dented and beat up in this area here that's going to take a lot of hammer and dolly work to straighten all that out uh, the whole step basically needs to be re-straightened out uh, because I'm not just going to fill that with Bondo or something so we got to straighten that we got to do a lot of metal finishing on this and um, you know another another thing that I'm really you know I always tell everybody is you got to get some primer behind your behind two sheet metal parts you got to get something behind your weldable primer or something now you can see right in here it's already starting to rust behind every single piece of this body that I put together we've got that good coating behind there and it takes takes just a minute that you don't put it and it starts to rust um, the hole is pretty good on the outside And they didn't really take any time to uh, do any dressing on the inside. I'll just, I'll cut you open like nothing. It's just, <clears throat> it's quite rough on the inside. Not a big deal. You just get in there and, and take care of that. Um, there's a step, the 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 bend where the. Um, Where the fender goes on and I don't know what happened but it looks like they bent it a little bit and then they straightened it out again there's a heavy line going down there 
Uh, hopefully the fender is going to cover all that nice. Uh, but you even see it on the inside. And when I get some paint on that, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Um, not happy with that. And this area here, they put that extra piece in there to double it up. I think you can see that. But for some reason, they got the whole curve of this wrong. Um, so your cowl support is going to be somewhere in here. Uh, so there's just there's not enough material there for me to work with so I'm gonna have to get that figured out and um, you know there's coming around the corner there I guess they had some trouble shrinking that metal in quite ragged but again these are guys just making parts and they feel you know hey people can't get good parts so they're gonna take whatever and they feel good about it and they uh, they write made in the USA and the guy even signed his name um, I'd be pretty upset if I put a part out like this but um, these guys are doing it and I just want to let you know what you're gonna get when you buy something from them okay now here's a few parts these are the rear uh, uh, body mounts they were they weld to the tail light panel and they they weld to the rear cross piece and um, these are a very nice reproduction uh, one of the first things I guess we've got that uh, do match the originals real nice and remember before you put anything like this in good coating of something behind it here's the, the outer the other outer and remember that's a good place for junk to collect. We went over that in a previous video way early on. Um, you'll always see the tail light panel rotting out in a line uh, and it's because stuff packs in that V-shape and it rusts out the, um, the tail light panel. So get some uh, uh, coating on there. Again, that's the cold galvanized. Uh, weld them in and just a tiny little bit of seam sealer up there will keep any junk from getting in there so um, finally after all the parts we've got to some that we do like those are very nice reproductions and um, I didn't mean for this video to uh, discourage anybody from buying parts but I uh, just want you to to know what you're gonna get uh, before you lay your money down um, there's not a lot of people out there um, reviewing parts or anything uh, so I do want to review the ones I do get and let you know uh, what you're gonna get uh, when you buy it so I uh, hope you found this video helpful and um, maybe it gave you some uh, some information on things you may be purchasing but I um, uh, hope I was able to show you something about what you get and if you like the video, hit the like button, or uh, subscribe, or uh, if there's anything else you want me to uh, cover, uh, just shoot me a comment, and I'll do that. Okay, we will catch you on the next video, and uh, that should be coming uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll show you how we start getting the, uh, the hat channel in.